Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Progressive Dynamics Power Center with Converter Smart Charger. So the Progressive Dynamics AC-DC panel with built-in converter with a smart charger is going to have two main battery profiles. There is lithium and lead acid. The lead acid side has a charge wizard which measures your battery's voltage and has four stages depending on what state you're at to ensure that it maintains the correct charge or changes its voltage accordingly to make sure that your battery has a longer lifespan. And then it also has a high voltage mode for our lithium side. So as you can see right here, we have a little black switch that says LI and LA on it. The LA stands for lead acid and your LI stands for lithium. To switch your converter over to lithium, you're just going to press that little switch over and now we're ready to charge lithium batteries. It also comes with six branch circuits, which are labeled right here, along with our seventh for our main. It's going to have two 30 amp fuses on our DC side, which is actually the first two right here. Um, for our neighbor today, they didn't need that just because they're not running anything that heavy. So we just had to fill them with some 15 amp fuses. And then it's also going to have 10 20 amp DC fuses. The converter output of our system that we've installed today is 60 amps but you can find the correct size on our site. It also comes with the following safety features a over or an under voltage protection and over current protection and then also a fan that's built in with our converter over on this side which will help keep your converter running nice and cool that way you don't have to worry about any wires getting too hot or anything overheating. So the installation process is uh, not too complicated. It's really just uh, kind of tedious. There's a lot of little wires you got to push through. Uh, you want to be careful when you're sorting your wires, pulling them out of your old uh, AC-DC distribution panel, and then when you're putting them back in. Uh, one thing I will say is our previous one definitely had more space. This one really doesn't have that much space. Honestly, you got just this little square right here. So it is a little bit hard trying to get all your wires in there. So you might want to do them just one at a time. I shoved them all in there at once and then kind of had to fight them the whole time. So just a little tech tip there to help you when you do your installation. So to determine the correct converter replacement for your current model, you're going to want to take a look at your model number and your brand. As we can see on here, we have a Parallax and it is a Series 8300. Uh, the exact model is the 8355 because this is a 55 amp charger. So we want to go with the matching pair for this, which is our Progressive Dynamics 60 amp model. Um, you can go a little bit higher if you need to with a higher amperage so that you can charge your battery bank a lot quicker. But at the same time, you're going to have to upgrade your wiring to a thicker gauge so that it can actually properly transfer the voltage over without any issues. You don't ever want to go under, so since we have a 55 amp here, I wouldn't want to switch down to the 45. I want to stay right around that number, and like I said, going up just 5 amps isn't really going to make a difference. So now that we know exactly which uh, converter we're going to be swapping in, let's go ahead and take our panel cover off. Go ahead and keep this too. If you have it all labeled, it makes it way easier later on when you want to label your new distribution panel. Before we actually touch anything, uh, you want to make sure that you cut the power. No shore power, no battery power. We don't want any electricity running over to here. We don't want to give ourselves a little shock. Um, and then I also recommend taking a picture. That way you have a good reference of what is going where. That way you can kind of label it later on when you're redoing your install of the new distribution panel. And then also, it makes it a little bit easier. You just take some painter's tape, wrap it around the wires, and label them with a Sharpie. So I've disconnected the battery. We're not hooked up to any shore power, but we're gonna go ahead and test anyway. So I'm gonna take my multimeter, and I'm gonna set it for voltage for AC current. I'm gonna take my Negative tester, put it over onto our neutral bar, and then my positive, I'm gonna stick in each one of these 
circuit breakers and just test, make sure I got no power coming through. And we can switch it over to DC and then I'm gonna go ahead and test my breakers. I got no power, so nothing to worry about. So now we can go ahead and start taking apart our distribution panel. So as you're taking these circuit breakers out, just keep in mind, I'm gonna try and find exactly my uh, power, my neutral, and my ground, and I'm gonna pull those together. That way I can keep everything separated, make sure everything looks nice and neat. I'm just gonna slowly take all this apart. All right, as you can see, I took the screws out of my converter here to pull it off of the, from the panel. We got two wires running up to our AC side and then two running up into our DC side. So I'm gonna try and remove that now. I already got my black wire loose. I'm just gonna trace this up. Pop off our neutral wire. get these two out of the way. All right. Let's join the converter with something else on here. So we're gonna have to take that apart. Next, we're going to start taking out our DC side. And I got that in there tight. I'm just loosening up all of our DC connections right now so that I can pull it out when needed. Your progressive dynamics panel is not going to come with fuses. So as long as your fuses are still good, you can just reuse them. You can tell inside of your fuse, it's going to have a little arch in the center of it, which is probably hard to see on camera. But basically, as long as that is still intact, your fuse is still good. If you see that it's broken, the fuse is bad. So now that we have all of our wires loose, I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to take my panel out. Just have to take out these screws. And that last breaker, I'm gonna get once we have our panel actually out. Now that our panel's loose, we can start working it out. And then we can loosen up our clamps on the back of our panel so that we can pull our wires through. There we go. See wiring out. All right, AC side. I'm gonna straighten it out a little bit. A lot of these are going to be bent so that they can fit into the bars. So I wasn't able to get my main breaker out at first because of this little metal piece that's holding it in. But now that we have our converter out and our AC district. AC DC distribution panel out. Go ahead and take that metal piece off. And we can swap out our breakers. That way we can reuse them in our new panel. So, because my old AC DC distribution panel and converter were just a little bit larger than my new one, I went ahead and I cut out a piece of wood and painted it, kind of match our cover here just to make it look nice because we're going to want to fill in this gap here. We don't want to leave any open holes because um, that's just going to look real unfinished and not the best. Um, so I put that on. I want to show you on the back. So all of these leads right here are going to go to our DC fuses for a really easy hookup. We don't have to force any wires inside and try and hook up inside of the body of our converter. All we have to do is just attach our DC fuse wires up on the outside. Now for the AC side, we will be placing these inside of the body. 
there's these little tabs right here that have just a little bit of bend in them. That's going to act as your clamp. So what I mean by that is on our old one, we have these clamps right here that you have to sit there and screw down to tighten down to keep your wire from pulling out. Whereas this, as soon as you push these in, it's not going to let you pull that wire back out without having to actually break off the tab. So this is what we'll be placing our wires to for our AC side and our DC will hook up on the outside. So if you have a battery disconnect switch, uh, there's going to be a different way that you're going to have to wire this. Uh, if you do not have a disconnect switch running from your battery over to your converter, you'll use this lug right here and we'll place our power wire in and then it will use this jumper over to this lug. Since we do have one on our travel trailer today, I'm going to be removing our jumper and then using this lug right here for our power wires. There we go. So on our back here, we have three separate holes. I'm just gonna be using the top hole for our power and our ground here, our neutral. We're gonna be sliding these in, and I'm gonna say this is a super tight fit, so it might give you a little bit of a hassle because you gotta get it out right here and do a complete 45 right into that terminal. So you will probably have to fight this a bit unless you can kind of loop it down. I might get lucky here. But I'm also fighting against the other wires. There we go. Lucked out and we got in there. We can tighten that down. And now we can push our neutral through. Went in easier than I was expecting. All right, now that we have our DC side hooked up, we can take our DC products here that we need to run and we can start hooking them up to our cables on the back here. I'm gonna go ahead and just put my butt connectors on now onto my DC fuse or DC wires here that come into our panel. Just crimp them down and then make my connection to my wires as we go. All right, now that I got my butt connectors on all of my wiring, I'm gonna go ahead and start matching it up with the wires running to our fuses. Just gonna twist those up a little bit. And crimp them down. Now that I've made all my connections, I'm gonna go ahead and just take a zip tie and just get these other wires out of the way. We have room for growth here if we ever wanna add some more stuff on, but in the meantime, these are just taking up space that we don't need them to. So here, I'm gonna run that through here. And it's also gonna fight me when I try to push our panel up into place. So better just get it out of the way now, not have to worry about it later. All right, so I'm gonna pop all my breakers in. Like I said, we're just gonna reuse the ones we already had. Putting my main all the way to the left here. And then this one here on the end, I'm gonna run my converter power wire to. As you can see, the ground and the neutral are already ran into our bar, so we don't have to worry about wiring those. Just the power wire, because they don't include the breaker for you. But we can start poking our wires in through our back on here now. So here's my main wire, or my main power, so that tape off we don't need that in here now place that up into my 30 amp breaker there we go and we can tighten it down give it a little yank make sure that we're nice and tight and then we're just going to go down our line here and plug in our connectors 
All right, now that I have all of my power wires in place, I'm gonna go ahead and do my ground just because this is a little bit tight of a box. If I put my neutral in first, I'm probably not gonna be able to get to my ground. So this may take a little bit of maneuvering and a little bit of patience. So just an FYI for you out there. Now that I have all my grounds in place, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my neutral. Like I said, this is probably the most challenging part, just kinda working in this tiny space, trying to get all of our wires lined up just perfect. So now that I have all of my power, ground, and neutral wires in place and tightened down, I'm gonna go ahead and start inserting all my fuses. Just reusing the ones that we already have with our previous panel. I did go ahead and check, make sure each one of these fuses is still good. Now that we have all of our fuses back in place, we can go ahead and start pushing our wire back into our hole here. And get our converter in place. So we're also going to run a wire coming from our terminal that I said we weren't gonna use earlier, and then we're gonna run that over to our external battery disconnect. Like I said, if we weren't using it, we wouldn't have had to do this. Um, but because we are using it, we're going to have the disconnect be between the fuses and the disconnect instead of over here on our uh, main power coming in too. So you're gonna have both the power going from the battery to our main here, and then also from our uh, little side one here that's controlling all of our fuses to the battery disconnect. So with the cover that it came on your panel, there's also gonna be a little bag that has your main breaker cover. It's gonna just hold the breaker in place, so we're just gonna install that real quick. All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead and we'll flip the battery disconnect off so that we can uh, test out our new panel. So we'll hit our lights. All of our lights are working. We'll test out our radio here. Radio's powering on. And we also have a sea level tank monitor. We can hit that. And it's also telling me my battery's are at 14.5. So since we're hooked up with our AC power two, uh, this is also going to be charging our battery. So over time, we're gonna see this rise up just a bit. I mean, we're pretty much at full right now, but we may get just a little bit more out of our battery life here. So the last step here is just to put our cover back on. Uh, as you can see, we have our main labeled right here, and then I labeled our converter, which is right down in here. Uh, but you can go ahead, put any of your DC side, your AC side right on there so that you know what everything is. And then just pop on your cover. Well, I think that about does it for our installation here of the Progressive Dynamics Power Center with Converter Smart Charger. My name's Kevin. Thanks for watching.